John McKenna, former Navy football player, former Army football player Tyler Shebel is with us. Gentlemen, nice to see you. All right, Tyler, you win the background uh, here as we take your shot full with the helmet. I'm always reminded by, unlike I think any other college sports teams, how players for Army, players for Navy, um, so much of their life is then defined not by them playing football, but by what they did after that. And it's different than for most college players. Yeah, thanks, Leland. Appreciate you having us. Um, it's, a, it's a really special game. And, and um, you know, it's one of the better days of my life walking off the field having beaten Navy. But, you know, as far as accomplishments go, it definitely pales in comparison to some of the things that we get to do uh, in, in service to the country. Yeah, um, you know, beating beating Navy is an unusual feeling. I mean, I, just to be fair, Navy does lead uh, 62-54, seven ties. Current win streak, Army won. Uh, John, why why is this rivalry what it is? How did this come to be so important in the American ethos? Zeitgeist. It's a great question, Leland. Thanks for uh, having us on today. The game is, it's more than a game, number one. And it usually, you know, when you go to a particular school and your family goes there, Army, Navy affects all the hundreds, tens of thousands of uh, men and women serving our country. And usually somebody has some relationship to the military, some type of background. So it, there's, it, it touches all the families, not just the two schools, like a, an Alabama and Auburn type game. This affects the entire country. I don't know why you mentioned the name Auburn on television. It doesn't need to be said. They're <laughs> inferior in every way. But, hey, you know, look, we, we, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Tyler, I, I'm thinking about a couple of years ago, and 10, 15 years ago, when the American military um, was so front and center in everybody's mind because of Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, and now it is not. And I'm wondering how you think that that changes tomorrow. Yeah, that's a great question. You know, the last game I played in was the Army-Navy game that occurred about two and a half, three months after 9-11. And, you know, the president came. It was incredibly patriotic. Um, I have to assume it was really well viewed, but, you know, I can remember sort of the pageantry of the day. And, and you know, as a player, you just want to get out there and, and beat the other team. Um, but, you know, I think, I think the focus on the game sort of ebbs and flows with the focus on patriotism in the country. You know, and, yeah. and when we're at war and the military can be front and center, the game seems to maybe matter to the ethos of the country a little bit more. But I don't think it it matters at all any way different to the players uh, whatsoever. <laughs> you know, John played in peacetime. Um, yeah. I believe John yeah. played mostly in peacetime. And I can tell you, he probably wanted to win that game as bad as I wanted to win the game. Sure. Yeah, John. Uh... Boy, the, the, memory, the memories are fun. Gentlemen, good luck tomorrow to both of your teams. Um, it, it, it's fun. And I would advise anybody just to watch and, and see the beginning of it, especially. Uh, CBS does a great job. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.